Debate on the Majority Rule Bill continuing in the House of Assembly today. If passed, Majority Rule Day will become a public holiday. Members of the governing side, including Seabreeze Member of Parliament Hope Strawn and Bamu Town MP Renwood Wells noted the importance of the day and both agreed it should be commemorated as such in honor of Bahamians that fought to bring about change in this country. Beyond any, any, any other nationality in this country as it relates to being able to, imply, to provide employment for, our, for, for, for the country. And so, Mr. Speaker, we have to take up the mantle. Majority, the, the, the men of, uh, of the day for majority rule, they achieved what they set out to do. They achieved majority rule for us. We, we, we obtained self-determination from the 1950s and 1960s. Now it is our job to face the challenges of our day, to meet it head on, to define solutions for our people. And the main, the main, the two-headed monster, the two-headed monster which we must fight, Mr. Speaker, is crime and unemployment. And we must not allow others outside to set the conversation for us on this issue. We must take charge of it. We must imbue our citizens with the confidence to know that they have the ability. They are, not, they are no less educated than many in the, in the other major countries of this, of this country, as I, uh, of countries of the world, as I have demonstrated through our literacy rate. And in fact, many of the countries where we look for, for, for migrant workers, we have a much higher literacy rate. And so it shows that we have the capability. And so 40 years, 40 years into independence, Mr. Speaker, we must recognize Majority Rule Day by creation of this holiday. For sure, we must do that. We must honor the men and women who were integral in this struggle, in this struggle by protecting our citizens, Mr. Speaker, against criminals and criminal activity. We must honor them. We must honor them not only with this holiday, but we must honor them by protecting our citizens.